All right, okay. <clears throat> Hi guys, welcome back to another episode, and with me is the amazing Joe. I'm amazing. He does my audio, so if you guys hear the music in the intro and during my video, that is all him. Anyway, so in this episode, I am doing a mix of coffee and Pokemon gym leaders, and thankfully that was from this guy Joe. Yeah. And we'll get more into it into this episode, so stay tuned, and let's get started. Anyway, like we mentioned before, we are doing a coffee merge with Pokemon Gym Leaders. <laughs> Why did you think of this idea? Because my idea was just to make the coffee into people depending on the region and everything like that. I even have step by step about how to make everything, so. Well, like, coffee is, is such a personal, like, it, it's so, like, it, it, it's a good idea. There's so much personality in coffee. It's become like a craft thing uh, over the years because it's existed for so long. And uh, why not combo that with something that is really- My bad. <laughs> I'll just start over. <laughs> no, continue. Um, Coffee's been co coffee's been a very personified thing. It's a very cool idea to give them an actual like physical body to represent them. Uh, but people have also been doing that a lot with uh, with Pokemon, just making their own kind of Pokemon, their own regions. It's a very interesting thing to follow. It's a cool design project. And considering Pokemon's been popular for about as long as we've been alive, <laughs> uh, why not just combo the two? It, it gives an idea for like, like uh, for an art style, a, a direction. Uh, everything's gonna be generally, well, not everything's gonna be happy, but everything's gonna be generally kind and cute and, and friendly. Um, it's kind of a cool thing about Pokemon, just no matter how dark or creepy the Pokemon is, it always looks like your friend, which is actually a design choice that a lot of them do. Uh, and you, as the amazing artist as you are, mm -hmm. I think you'd have a good, uh, a good time with that. Did I mention we're engaged? We are engaged. <laughs> um, I really hope that makes it into like, the edit like three times. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are engaged. And that's why we love coffee so much. It's like a coffee theme wedding. Anyway, just want to put that in there. So thank you for coming up with this idea. And for the next few videos in the future or whatever, and if this gets bigger, I'll be able to create a more express region of different Pokemons that are coffee theme. What are we calling this region? We're calling it the Espresso region. The Espresso region. If you guys follow my Inktober, I actually made one of them was a uh, screen donut, and I made a donut into a Pokemon that's a poison type. Oh, that's that's true? Yes. I, I, I follow your Instagram. I didn't catch that. Well, we were engaged for just a month, and it's over. You didn't even get your ring yet. Nope, they took it to fix it, and it's been a month. So... <laughs> <laughs> but... Anyway, so let's get into the drawing and we'll explain more to you what the steps were to create this character, the Pokemon I created for my gym leader, and more info on what's going to be in in this project. We're going to talk. Hey. This is going to be talking. Anyway, to the drawing now. Let's get into why we picked Espresso to be an electric gym leader. Joe, you want to talk a little bit about that? Well, I figured, like, Espresso is like condensed coffee. It, 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 it's the strongest of the coffee and it makes, and drinking it will kind of like zip you about, give you all this energy, and that kind of led to an electric type kind of like through line. There's a lot of electric types are generally faster. I could be wrong about that, I'm not a Pokemon expert, but, you know, Pikachu's highest status is speed, if I remember correctly, and it, it made it, like, oh, okay, electric makes you fast. So does, so does Espresso. That's true, that's true. Uh, I, I'm reading your notes. You put personality, strong, sassy, has energy, doesn't mess around, very tiny. Because Espresso shots are very tiny. Yeah, they're, they're, they're one ounce. They are. Shot. If you ever go to a coffee place and you want something really strong, just order the espresso shots with like a hint of milk or something. It's cheaper when you do it at the coffee shops. I do that a lot or I just get a latte just to make it easier, but it will cost like a dollar fifty more. If you want to save that dollar fifty, which helps in the long run, just get espresso shots with some milk. It's cheap. Yeah. I like 
I like the the, 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 the the second face you got going on here. Which second face? It is so many faces. The, the one in the middle that you have, like the one, the one that's already finished, it's kind of... It reminds me of Spirited Away, Hayao Miyazaki main character. I, I was know. trying to mess with facial expressions. Expressions. Sorry, my lisp came out. Uh, I was also just trying to get back into the feel of art, of like my style and everything. So I was testing out different art styles, as you see in the top three faces I did. Uh, and this one right now is kind of closer to what my art style is trying to be. Mm -hmm. And I'm finally getting into the groove of things. So I get Korra vibes off of this one. Korra was a big influence on that piece right there. And I'm trying to do a side profile in this point right here, as you see. So, which I, I like that one. I think for this character I'm drawing right now, she's going to be for another gym leader. Not entirely sure yet, but we're we're going to figure it out. Reusing designs. Yeah. Tell me about the depressed one that's in the middle. Oh, that was how I felt. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't have brought it up. Yeah, uh, it's okay. We all deal with this. Um, so as you see, I'm trying coming up with different poses that fits an energetic kind of electric type feel. So, you're gonna see a few of those in the next few over here, so. Uh, so, as I was mentioning, I drew an ace character with the Pokemon Gym Leader, and along with that, what? I just saw a note pointing to the hand. I'm pretty sure it said WTF. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to draw hands that well when I just do quick sketches, because I don't want to be too involved with it, but yeah, you'll see little notes here and there in my sketches, especially my speed process videos. You'll see it. Anyway. Anyway, so the gym leader's main crew of Pokemon <laughs> would be the following I picked was Magnemite. 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 And Molga. That's the, that's the flying squirrel. I right. believe so, yes. Deden. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. That's one of the ones. I think that one's fairly new. It is I see new. it a lot on Pokemon cards lately. Yeah, it's new. Uh, Joltix. That's the bug looking spark thing. Yes. And Morpeko, which this is the one little hamster that gets hangry and has a hangry mode. And it gets very, like, strong. It gets stronger. And I feel like that's a mood. I had no idea. <laughs> He's so cute, though. So, they are so cute. So how does it get hungry in the game? Like, you just, you just don't feed it an item or a berry or something? No idea. If you know what this Pokemon is, put it down in the comment below. Help with the algorithm. And, of course, my own design, which you see right now, I'm trying out different types of oh, styles. I love the lazy one that's just lying flat on the floor. Yeah, I tried, I tried using a rat, but then I was like... Ah, uh, that's too close to yeah, Pikachu. It's a little too Pikachu. So I started looking up cheetah-inspired designs, and I'm not really good with drawing animals, as you see. So I tried all different types of styles and all different types of references I to like the, get the, the tutu neck thing it's got going on. I know, it kind of looks like Lion King though. So, and like this a kingly lion, like it literally has like the the, the noble floofy shirt thing going on. Egg, exactly, yes. Ooh, that's a good pose. Yeah, I did like that one. It's kind of like a kangaroo mixed with a, a cheetah. Like a, like a cat of some kind. Yeah. And then, as you see in this new one I'm sketching out, I'm trying to start going towards a cat now because I'm just struggling. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that one, yes. That one's so sassy. This one is inspired by my friend's two cats put together. That last one looked like a Cheeto. <laughs> He will eat a Cheeto, leave him alone. <laughs> um, this is invited by my friends Cat Lennon and Nugget. This is a shout out to you, Marie. And the I've been looking up simple art tips for cats, and this is what I started coming up with. And since it's espresso, I started giving them an espresso print. Like also, coffee beans. Like a leopard print, but actual espresso beans. Yeah. That's super cool. And this one starts becoming the final look of it. Uh, Pokemon! Pokemon! <laughs> uh, Espresso is what I wanted to call them, the Pokemon. But mm -hmm. if you have a better name, put it out there. I'm not in love with the one I came up with. So. We can brainstorm that. 
yeah, we'll bring something, well, bring something, brainstorm we'll something, brain something for the espresso region. So, yeah, why not? We got two tails. Yeah, he has two tails. They have two tails. And they're, when you rub them together, they turn, they get stronger, the electric powers. Oh, it, it's yeah. literally static electricity? It's static electricity. So individually, they give out different types of electric uh, moves. So one can do more of like a, you know, positive effect and negative effect. <laughs> one can heal oh. itself and one, the other one creates so it's, damage. So it's like, like magnetic poles and each tail is a different magnetic pole. Yep. That's kind of cool. And when they rub together, but it takes a few turns. So it's like when they uh, absorb health, it takes like two turns or so for some of the grass type Pokemon. This one is like rub together its tail. Okay. And it's, it, it, it's poofiness kind of goes out. Yep. It becomes more of a fluff ball. It becomes fluffier. And of course it has speed because mm -hmm. it's fast. It's a cheetah. Cheetah based cat. Legion. And Legion, Lennon Nugget kind of vibe. <laughs> and so it has speed, it has electric boost, and that's all I came up with so far. So, okay, it's a fast Pokemon that has like a different kind of stat changes based on what tail it wants to use. Yes. You know what I realized in my sketch? I put that she has freckles, but in my final outcome, I forgot and did not add any freckles to it whatsoever, and now I'm sad. I do like, the, I mean, like, it's an easy fix, right? You just gotta go on. Go in the back, put some dots. Yeah, I mean, I can do that. That's no problem. I like the hair. Yes, I'm in love with her hair. What made I'll... you choose the colors? Well, of course I wanted to stick with the gym type, or just the electric type one, and it was yellow for electric type Pokemon, and so I wanted to come up with, a, with yellow, and I got confused with purple and blue. Purple is orange's complementary color. Blue is yellow. So when I drew this, I thought purple was yellow's complementary colors. It is not. It is on the triad, so I'm not too yeah, disappointed. But I just chose those because I felt like her hair would stand out. Like you will look on her face, and then you'll look on the rest of her. I think yellow. I think yellow and purple are the complementaries, though. I think because purple is a combo of red and blue, which are the other two primaries. Mm, well, the, it's a secondary. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but I'm talking about the primary. Oh, it's got a purple butt. I forgot about the purple butt too. <laughs> no, that's okay. I came up with so many different colors for this little fella, and I just came out with just them being yellow at the outcome. And right now, I'm outlining my character. I like to do sketch it out once I like it. I like to do the outline to make it easier on myself. So, that's happening right now. I noticed that you, you, you put a, like a note earlier that said headphones. Yeah, I was that gonna... That just kind of get in the way, or you, you just chose against I it. I forgot. Well, I, I actually think in this case it would have gotten in the... Unless they were like hanging around her neck. They were gonna hang around her neck. Oh, okay. See, if you watch my other videos, I mentioned that I put notes down on my drawings, and... Ignore all of them? I ignore all of them, or I accidentally erase it, and I it's gone. Notes. Thank you. You should have like a notes layer. I should have a notes <laughs> layer, and I keep saying I will do that, but just like other artists, I forget about it. Oh, that's cool. You're just using a like a, like a, like an espresso bean stamp. I created the espresso bean stamp that I put on our little Pokemon here. That's cool. Yeah, that was actually really fun. I've been making a lot of my own uh, brushes on Procreate. It's really fun. And I'm hoping to do more, so whenever I get a Patreon, you guys get some. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh yeah, I fixed her eyes because I realized they were a little bit too far apart. And I have kind of that issue where I make the eyes too, too wide. So she kind of looked weird for a second. So I fixed it, and I love it. I do remember... Because, like, we've, we've known each other for a long time. I remember you sending me stuff like, hey, how does this look? And it was... Like, I've seen you slowly kind of gain a grasp of human anatomy over over the course of wow, a while ago. Uh, it, it's been a cool thing. Like, you just kind of fix that yourself because you, you know what things should look like. Yeah. And thankfully to a lot of my other art friends, they pointed out my eyes were getting too wide because 
Sometimes I would draw something and I say, oh, wow, this looks really nice. And then realize, oh, my God, these eyes. <laughs> so you've been staring at it for five hours and you, you can't see it anymore. Yep. Or even my own mom. She's like, why are these eyes so weird? I'm like, thanks, mom. <laughs> Your mom's brutal. <laughs> yeah, I love my mom. She's the most, she's like the best critic and the most, wor- like, just hardcore. She'll tell you straight forward. Wow, that looks weird. And I'm like, thanks, mom. <laughs> All right. I was really fishing for a compliment, but okay. Yeah. And this is kind of where I start gripping what? my art style. This is how I want to start coloring. And I had so much fun doing the shading of this piece. And this is what I want to do now. And I'm finally getting a grasp of it. <laughs> and it's getting there slowly but surely. So, yeah. But, um, oh. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I have a Draw This In Your Style giveaway challenge that's going on right now where you can draw my OCJ and you can see it in the YouTube videos ago and on my Instagram how you can participate and win some cool prizes. So go check that out. Anyway, let's get back to this. Was your OC named because my, my name starts with J? No. I actually have people on Instagram vote. All right. I'm just going to think of it as my own. <laughs> sure. Whatever. Wow, fiance, you're already trying to just say everything about you. I'm already, I'm already you. muscling in. You're already muscling in on here. Wow. Wow. Uh, actually, okay. Th- th- that last one was actually for the texture on the pants, because that looks infuriating to get right, and you just kind of nailed it in. Thank you. You know, sometimes I have this thing where when I'm drawing and I'm watching something, it sticks in my head. I remember I was watching Bob's Burgers when Linda lost her dad in the airport when I was doing this. Oh, that episode? Yeah. That counts as the visit. It counts um, as the visit. Yeah, I, I kind of get that too. There, there are just certain things that stick in you when whatever was around. Like, I used to be a delivery driver and I would listen to podcasts to pass the time and I just have certain parts of the city are nailed down to certain subjects they were talking about. It feels weird. Yeah, it feels weird, but, you know. Is there a Pokeball that's yellow and black like that? Yeah. It's not the it's it's the master's ball. No, it's not That's master's Walter. ultra ball. There's oh yeah, it's the ultra uh, ball. I'm done. I got confused yeah. with the master and ultra Literally ball. Literally one of the but... original four pokeballs. Yes. So yeah, I wanted her to have the ultra ball to fit her kind of theme. Aesthetic. Yeah, her aesthetic, and I wanted to give her more of like a punk rock feel. She can be energetic in those boots. I run in those kind of boots. I was gonna say those combat boots are pretty sick. I am in love with these. I would love to with buy a heel. pair with a heel. Yeah. With the with these boots, you'd be taller than me. I would, and I want one now. If you know <laughs> a pair I can get, please send it in the comments below. So yeah, I want to give her like a punk, but you know, she's a joyful punk. It's not just just because I wear these clothes is I'm this type of person. No, she's just this is her style and her personality is different from who what she wears. Yeah, it, it's it reminds me of. Um... God, there was an old photo a while ago of a guy who's all punk rocked out. He has like a big, I think multicolored mohawk, a big jean jacket with spikes on it. And there's a little kid like touching his hair, and it's a very cute moment. It that's felt like cute. he was part of a festival or something. Aw, that's cute. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to go with. Just very, you know, not all punk rockers are a certain type. Yeah. Uh, so. So, so we're still. I'm still workshopping on a name in my head for for the Pokemon itself. Uh, what about her name, though? That's a good question. I have not come up with her name. Okay, well, I'm I'm getting real. I'm I'm narrowing in on, on a name for the Pokemon, and uh, I I don't know about the character though. I guess because like she is a espresso theme, we can name give her a name that kind of because espresso or originates from italy mm-hmm. that's what they're it was created in so we can probably come up with some name in italy an italian name? an italian name i don't know any italian names. i don't know either <laughs> i should have the research it's okay we'll come up with something if you guys know a name for her you know let Ooh, us know we're nailing in yes so i wanted to show off his oh uh, their electric and this is when I start practicing more on my lighting technique. And I realized I forgot there was light coming from him and I had to create an, a light effect for him too. Ooh, this is cool. Alright, alright. Yeah, all right. so this is so, the piece. I think I have a name for the Pokemon. What what do you have? So so we know it's a cat. Like it's a, it's based on kind of a cheetah. You said it was based on our, our friend's cats. Yes. But we know it's a cat. Cats yes. are felines. Mm-hmm. What about electric? Electric. Electric with a feline. All right. How intact to beat electric? 
Philectric. I'm gonna, I'm gonna comment Philectric. This <laughs> so this is Philectric, and you know what? Since we inspired it, this is Marie, the gym leader, Ooh, the espresso gym leader from okay. my friend Marie. Thanks, Marie. Hi, Marie. I took your name. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, so this is the piece. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this piece and if you agree with Joe, if this would be Philectric. Philectric. Philectric, the Pokemon, and Marie, the Espresso Electric Gym Leader. Bye, guys. <laughs> if you guys. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll leave you. Bye. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more notifications. And don't forget to comment down. Again, it's good for the algorithm. And I will see you guys with Joe in probably the next episode or so. Bye, guys. Bye.